Hey buddy, Ranch in here again, bringing you yet another StarCraft commentary. <clears throat> this is going to be set four of LACAP Oz versus SK Telecom T1 that was played on the 23rd of December. Merry Christmas, by the way. Yeah. So it's going to be match four, uh, and this is going to be a good one. It's going to be Jadong versus Fantasy. Yeah, man. It's going to be the tyrant against, <laughs> uh, against Boxer Clone. I'm expecting a very good match here. Jadong is, of course, one of the kings of Zergs. He has been slipping a bit lately, but he's still Jadong. His TBZ is his worst matchup, but still at 60%. <laughs> TBZ is actually Fantasy's worst matchup, and we're going to see how he copes with that. I think he'll do fine, though. I don't think he should have any serious troubles. And I'm basing that completely on no real information whatsoever. He's just under 50% against Zerg. Uh, but we're gonna see how he manages to take Jadong out. Maybe take him out on this map. Which is gonna be Sing Chipun Ryong, New Autumn Wind, which is a very interesting map, and I'm gonna go into that in just a minute after the countdown. It's position instruction. Four, three, two, one, go! The thing is always in my way! I can't do the countdown properly! <clears throat> Right, so we're gonna have Fantasy in orange at the 7 o'clock, and we're gonna have Jadong in white at the 1 o'clock. And wow, look at Jadong, he's totally focused, he's screaming at himself. Like, Go to win this! Go to win this thing! And he really does. SKT1 are 2 1, a, two one ahead, and if Jadong wins this, he'll pull, it, pull back and even it out and send someone to the ace match, who could be himself. So yeah, I said I was going to talk about Chipung Ryong. This is, uh, since Chipung Ryong is a slightly edited map from the old Chipung Ryong in that mostly it was edited to take away the heavy advantage that Protoss had on this map. It, the main was huge, it had a lot of drop locations, just allowed Protoss to do their thing. <laughs> Fans screaming there in the background. That close-up of Jadon. Yeah, this map, uh, uh, the old map was pretty much equal in TVZ. This map has been slightly more wins getting from Terrence. I believe it's 3 to 1, something like that, but still not enough matches to really base anything too heavily. Uh, there's no real open middle, so maneuverability for Zerg can become a problem, but at the same time, even though Terrence can, ca Terrence can camp in certain uh, positions, uh, during troop movement, during Terran troop movement, they become extremely vulnerable, especially nearing near the middle of the map, where Zergs, if they do proper flank, can uh, easily uh, do ambush attacks and like hole in and pincer a large f number of tanks or goliaths. <clears throat> Vultures uh, <laughs> come on, can escape a little better, but we're still gonna have it. two drones now coming out for Jadong. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, it's gonna go for a 12 hatch, and the second drone is gonna send out for an early scout. Uh, barracks coming up now for Fantasy. We're gonna see if Fantasy decides to go for the uh, mech build, which for GG just a uh, couple of games ago uh, used pretty successfully to take down Hyuk, but at the same time, you don't really need that much skill to take down Hyuk, so <laughs> jetting is something different there. Spawning pool on the way as well. That's gonna take a while before it's up there, but there's no cheese going on here, nothing special. An SCV blocking the ramp, trying to prevent that drone from coming in. We'll see what happens. Jedong trying to get the drone in there. Fantasy trying his best to deny it. And he's actually not doing a bad job at all. He's damaging the drone while he's trying to get in the drone. Ooh, the drone almost getting in there, but being denied every corner. Nice little drone dancing there by Jadong. Drone can be taken out, so you have to be very careful. Fantasy also has to be careful not to move out there. They're just focusing so much on this little map here. Jadong doing whatever he can to get off the scout. He has to see what Jadong is Oh, and he loses the drone! Oh, man. <laughs> Epic little match there. Right afterwards, he plops down the command center. Nice. Denies the scout and puts down a command center. That's pretty sweet, but the command center is still going to be seen by that overlord, but the overlord, of course, is not going to move into the base and not gonna uh, scout the tech. Third hatchery going down, just a production hatchery, so two expansions uh, up going up for Jadong, just getting his gas now, quite a bit late actually. Fantasy slowly setting up his second base as well, so we're gonna see 
how that all involves. I think I believe it in the beginning of the match I said the colors wrong. Oh, whatever. It's Zerg and Terran. Who cares about the colors? <laughs> Both coaches sitting there. So, okay, a second barracks. So, Fantasy is going to play it safe. He's been seeing that, you know, for GG might have killed Kyuk with it, but mech builds have been being a bit unsuccessful lately. So, he's just going to go for the regular uh, barracks and getting some medic marines out there. Uh, they're the standard build. They're what people generally use. Uh, Bisu and I Love Uli sitting there watching, focusing to see what happens. They've done their part. Well, Bisu has done his part so far, so. Expansion now going up. Uh, yeah, CC just coming down now, and uh, SCV's being transferred there to that location. A few Marines, they were <laughs> moving around, positioning themselves. Not going to go back to the expansion just in case those Zerglings decide to get a little feisty. Academy now going down, so we're going to have Medic Marines pretty soon and Stim upgrade as well. Ooh, scouting SV, finally getting taken down by a drone. So, <laughs> being surprised there by a drone and get taken down from behind. I'm sure there's a dirty joke there somewhere that I'm not going to say right now. Four Zerglings moving in, they're not going to be able to do anything, but I think it's mostly just to see what's going on. Maybe camp out outside of Fantasy's base, see what they can do. Interesting, an SCV going up way in the right corner, putting down an engineering bay way out there, just apparently trying to hide it for some reason. Might not want... Uh, Jadong to know that he's going for full upgrades and possibly even going for turrets just in case. Maybe inviting Jadong to go for a Mutalisk build, uh, which actually could be forthcoming. The lair is going up just now, no den yet, so I think Jadong could actually go for Mutalisk at this point. That would actually not a bad map at all to this. There's a lot of space to fly around with your Mutalisks and avoid uh, turret fire. A lot of Marines are coming up for Fantasy. No medic support though. They're pro probably not going to push it until the first. Yeah, exactly. Those two first medics on the way. Academy is blinking, so Stimpak upgrade is on the way. I don't have. It's quite there yet. I, I think Fancy is gonna wait until any uh, for any aggressive action until he has that stim upgrade. Might even want to take down one sunken just in case. Yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry, want to take down one firebat. I was gonna say just in case. Yeah, there we go. Firebat coming in just now. Take care of those and a bunker also being set down just in case for defensive purposes. There was also a sunken going down inside of Jadong's base, trying to prevent vulture harass. That actually might be forthcoming right now, seeing as we have a factory coming up in a slightly hidden location right after those two barracks. So we're gonna see biomech from Fantasy, and we're gonna see mutalisks for Jadong. The spire is going up, so. We're inter gonna be interesting to see what kind of engagement we have here. Uh, Engineering Bay is upgrading, so we're gonna have pure all, good old biomech. Hydra's Den is down as well. So, I actually didn't know that Den was up. We're gonna see what he uses that for. Maybe lurkers, maybe pure hydrolisks. I don't know. He did use a pretty, Jadon did use a very nice uh, two prone attack against Flash a couple of games ago, which me and Nuke commentated on. Wow! Wow, uh, Queen's Nest going down as well, so he's going for quick tech here, no third base, no third gas, nothing, he's just going to go all the way up there. Very interesting to see what he does with this. He's actually behind in bases, in expansion bases, so we're going to see what's going on here. Hydra is now out, uh, I don't know if they're just there for tur be being turned into lurkers. A couple of Zerglings coming in for Jaden, going to try to take down the turret, going to be unsuccessful, going to damage it quite a bit, but turret is going to go down, not going to go down. And we'll see, Fantasy probably going to repair it pretty soon. Two Sunkens now popping in inside of Jadong's expansion. Probably, oh, I have no comment. Probably to, yeah, uh, ward off those Medic uh, Marines which are coming his way. Ooh, Medic Marines being caught slightly out of position. Zergling's running up, up the ramp. Probably going to try to backside uh, Fantasy's base. Uh, Fantasy might actually engage them. Yeah, he's going to engage them. Zergling's going to run in, try to do some damage, but no. I don't think even a single hit went off. Jadong, they're losing a few Zerglings needlessly. It was in a pretty bad situation there, though. Uh, third barracks are coming up, and a starport and a science facility ready going up. So, wow. Uh, yeah. Uh, never mind. That was... Biomech, he's just gonna go for pure up ba with barracks and science vessels because which he's really gonna need as soon as his workers pop in. Fantasy now seeing those workers gonna have an SCV there for scanning purposes. That SCV did, I think, survive those worker attacks, but probably gonna get inside, probably get taken down by those 
speed upgraded zerglings that were running there. I think they were spot upgraded anyway. Lurkers running around trying to find a decent way to position those. This is actually what's very good on this map. Zerg lurkers work pretty well because there are plenty of places to put them, to hide them, and just entice uh, Terran enemies to walk right towards those lurkers. Yeah, those are speed upgraded zerglings, and they are going to take out the scouting SCV. More scouting SCVs all over the map. I don't know. They're probably just searching out for the third base of Jadong, which is not there. There's no third base. Defiler Mound coming down for Jadong, so it is going to be, he is going to use the Lurkers, and he is going to use Defilers. Uh, no Mutalisks. No Mutalisks. I repeat, no Mutalisks. Two Engineering Base for Fantasy, both upgrading. 